Hi everyone, I'm Amber and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be reviewing Ghostbusters Afterlife. Um, if you are new to my channel, please do not watch this review if you do not want to be spoiled or if you have not watched the movie yet. Um, because I cannot for the life of me do a review without spoiling something, so uh, I'm sorry. Please go watch the movie first and then you can come back and we can chat about this movie. Um, but yeah, I really like this movie. I love the overall concept. I love that they um, didn't try too hard with it. Not to say that they didn't try hard. Um, there were some cringy moments, but I really appreciated the overall um, plot and concept and um, the actors and actresses that they chose for this movie were awesome, amazing. Um, and I loved that the original Ghostbusters came back at the end would have liked for them to come back sooner but it's okay um I think it was like perfect timing um and it just was like for the final battle everything kind of fell into place and it was just an overall great movie um but like I said it had some cringy moments uh there were certain things that just didn't add up like who like Egon's daughter's mom was because I assumed that he ended up with that one lady that showed up in the beginning and that would have been awesome because you know they were flirting a lot in the original but um apparently she was just kind of like I don't know she kind of gave off the gave off the vibe that she was kind of like his mistress and I was just like okay <laughs> or they kind of just like had flirty moments and I'm just like he was I wanted him to end up with you maybe you're her mom but then no he left you apparently did he leave you with the mom? That did I miss that? I'm not sure. Um, and she had two kids. One who is little Egon Ness Jr. Um, and she is played um by the wonderful actress of McKenna. I can't remember her last name for the life of me. Um, she's a singer. The song that. One second, my alarm clock that I didn't know like it's like one of those high-tech like light ones that charge your phone so I didn't even know that I had like an alarm I thought it was just like a clock um that told the time but it has an alarm that rings and buzzes Christmas music randomly um at different times depending on daylight savings and it's been doing this since like September so yeah um that happened um but anyway uh what was it what was I um yeah I um I really like the movie I found it quite ironic that um uh his granddaughter ended up being kind of like a little mini version of him um which is really cute and there was nothing wrong with it it just was like it's funny okay it needed to happen for the plot and I, I get it and it's really cute um and her um with a little circle glasses um she was just adorable she looked younger in this movie than she actually is she grew up pretty fast did anybody else like feel that way like she grew up pretty fast I remember her like on her days on Fuller House when she came out and she was like super duper small of course she came out in other movies but that's where I first saw her um but yeah, um, so she kind of looked maybe a little bit, maybe like a year older than that in this movie. And obviously she's much older now. Um, and she got very tall very fast. But she was, I think, the perfect actress to embody this character. Um, and then her brother um, was there, kind of her comedic effect. Um, he was great. Um, her best friend, also great. Uh, Ant-Man played... <laughs> The teacher which was genius and a little bit weird <laughs> i don't know he like fit it like fit the role but then he also did it um and i like i said i loved how um the original ghostbusters came back and how they played an important part of this movie but also not like so much of an important part this movie was more of a coming of age story figuring out um, things coming to terms with things it depends on what character you, you're looking at um but I feel like everything was cohesive and nothing really went too far off or it needed so much more explanation um I think that 
in the beginning um their like living situation and the dad and everything um was a little bit confusing um until like we figured out more things um the the first scene was very like what's the word it wasn't what I was expecting for the start of the movie. Um, I loved how we jumped into all the ghost stuff and everything right away. I wasn't sure who it was, like, driving the car and the house and everything. I didn't know it was Egon. Um, and I didn't even know, like, that this movie was going to have, like, the actual Ghostbusters. I thought it was going to be, like, another, like redo or whatever but now it makes sense like afterlife but I didn't um really like get that from the trailers and then I didn't really I didn't research it because I was kind of like oh it's another one of those and then usually when that happens I'm just like we'll see when we get there um but yeah uh I loved that like w it's a tall order I think when you are trying to write some kind of sequel or um also a redo but like um and a remake but like when you are trying to write like part two of something that already exists and is so big like that um and I think that in that there were mistakes that were made but I felt that it was overall very good um I found it quite funny that th there is YouTube videos of like the ghost in Manhattan and everything like it was just clips from the movie that like was on YouTube but um I made it look like I guess more authentic um that someone had gone and recorded these incidents and everything uh but yeah her watching on YouTube and then I didn't even know that this movie took place in 2021 because uh we were like in the middle of nowhere I didn't know what time period it was until they were like, it's 2021. I'm like, okay, sure. Um, but there was just a lot of things in this movie that I felt really drove the plot forward and really allowed it to become its own thing as well. Um, like I said, the actress was phenomenal. She was super cute, super quirky. She just, I think, committed so much into playing this role she's a wonderful actress like i said before and i think she really does well um in these uh, big parts um like i said before ant-man being the teacher who i thought there was going to be more things with like he was a seismologist on the side um interested in the earthquakes that were going on in the town because it was um, leading up to this big ghost phenomenon that nobody knew about, but he knew about the Ghostbusters and introduced um, the daughter to that. Um, and then that's when start stuff started um, rolling. But I just felt like there should have been more built up. It was just kind of like, oh, the Ghostbusters. And then that was it. And then we're hunting ghosts and he's getting with the mom. And like, she didn't even seem that attracted to him at first like I felt like that was gonna build up more it kind of just happened um which I'm like okay it wasn't too weird but I was just like doesn't more need to happen here we're kind of like pushing it forward to kind of like make everything fit together which it is but I feel like we're missing like a chunk of something um so yeah and then they coincidentally like the love interest in the um ghostbusters before it end up being um the ones who get possessed and are chosen for like the gatekeeper and what was the other one what was the other i don't remember one ends up in a very sparkly dress and the other ends up being like the little giddy one um the key master key master yes um now that I'm like reviewing this movie I realize that it's been a while since I've watched Ghostbusters I think I've watched it all the way through but I remember pieces of it it's kind of like how I remember Gremlins like I'm pretty sure I've watched it all the way through but it's been a long time um that being said that doesn't mean that I don't know the movie um but 
yeah, so I, I just felt like, I don't know, um, there was just things that didn't go with that, but then somehow it all worked out. Um, and then did they switch the roles or am I mistaken on that? Has it been too long that I don't remember? Um, because Sigourney Weaver ended up playing the main, like, it's always the two love interests that end up getting possessed, obviously, but, like, she ended up playing the main, like, which one was she? The, the the gatekeeper and the, she was the key, okay, um, but anyway, she ends up playing that main, um, one that the gatekeeper has to go to and basically be with and, like, take somewhere and mate and then go and like open up the gates of the underworld and release something um but I don't remember it being the thing that they released in this one um so I'm not sure I don't think I remember that part where where they release this almighty force um I'm sorry like Part of me is, like, zoning out and, like, trying to remember what exactly happened at what point in the movie, um, the original Ghostbusters. Like, I have, like, I'm remembering me, like, part of my brain is remembering little me, like, watching the movie and what is what, and then trying to compare it to this movie, um, and it was easier while I was watching the movie because you're just like, oh, wait, um, okay, um, but once you're thinking about it more critically, it's like, wait, but that maybe, am I wrong, this, okay, um, so I'm sorry, coming back, um, but yeah, I, I feel like the roles were switched where, um, I don't know how to explain it, the... The key master and the gatekeeper, I felt like Sigourney Weaver played the main person, and in this movie they released the main person, or I might have it wrong, um, but yeah, and then she just suddenly got a dress, and I didn't think that was like it didn't make sense because it was just like they're just doing it for like comedic effect like there's no reason why she should just boom in a dress and then like boom all this is happening and it's like happening kind of sarcastically and funny them getting together and them getting possessed um and then them basically uh being intimate with one another and then yeah all this stuff like um it just felt like it happened boom 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 so fast and it just yeah that's not how it was in the I think in the actual movie it was comedic but like it went and there was purpose behind it and things happened slower and it wasn't just like this has happened already in the original so let's just do this so that way they can see and ha 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 and this um but yeah so they released this a powerful being who apparently the original Ghostbusters fought before, but I can't for the life of me remember. I only remember Sigourney Weaver. So, I don't know. Um, But yeah, the original Ghostbusters, they show up at the end. Apparently, Egon, uh, they were all together. They were busting ghosts. And then he started going a little bit crazy talking about certain stuff. I would have liked to have like more information as to how... He found all this stuff out. It just kind of was thrown at us. Um, and then uh, his friend, like, still had the phone number, I guess. And, like, they had all gone their separate ways. Which, to me, it broke my heart. I hate it. Like, I hate it when movies or TV shows do that. When, like, the original gang ends up, like, splitting and going their own ways. And just, like, no, my heart, no. Um... But yeah, apparently that's what had happened, but they're all still alive, they're all stick still kicking, they're all doing their things and everything. Um, I love that this movie was um made in honor of the guy who actually played Egon because he is no longer with us, um, but all the other actors still are. Um, so it was made 
um, kind of in honor of him, and that's kind of, like, why this movie was, like, based solely on his character. Um, that being said, when the ghost Elon showed up at the end, I didn't recognize him because, obviously, it was a different actor, and I just didn't feel as attached, but then it was also kind of like, oh, and then, um, in the beginning, I didn't recognize him either, and I don't understand why he died, but then Ghost Him was kind of, like, leading like the kids to like showing them what to do and everything um and it kind of made me think as to like why he wasn't able to do it um if it was just because he was by himself like what was his purpose why weren't things working because things weren't working clearly in the beginning so like it just kind of made me wonder how all this stuff started and from what we were told in the movie he had taken all the stuff so how did the other guys come with more stuff did they make it i don't know isn't he like the inventor like so how would they have made it they must have got it from somewhere and then the lady who was the receptionist and who he flirts with only came out in the beginning and didn't come out again and i thought that would have been a nice little bow like she came out for whatever the reason um i don't know uh but yeah um teacher going back to him he was just very involved um, in the whole ghost thing, and I would have liked his character to be they were just more solidified um, and not just kind of like I'm here to mate with your mom and become possessed and tell you about the Ghostbusters, and that's it. Um, also, if she didn't believe in ghosts, the uh, little girl. Um, then why was she playing chess with an unknown force and just was like okay and she believes in science obviously and it just was like does it's not not weird to you like hello um egon's ghost was very funny though very funny um when he was like showing the phds and everything so he was like how can you do this and how do you know how to do this and it's like phds um so him moving the light around and like using what is the equivalent of an um emf meter i guess uh that's how i always understood that the little thing worked um uh, well maybe it is called an emf meter maybe i'm just losing i think it was something else uh but like using that to kind of like communicate with them was nice i don't understand when all the ghosts went back why he didn't go back with them like he can't stay if all the ghosts go back like how is he staying? I don't, I don't understand. Also, they have Muncher instead of Slimer, and I wanted Slimer so bad. And I saw Muncher, and I was like, Slimer, and it's not Muncher. No, it's not Slimer, it's a Muncher. Um, so, yeah. Um, and that's kind of, like, how all the ghosts, like, got introduced to everyone. Um, like, th the concept of there being ghosts got, got introduced to everyone. Um, Muncher started going crazy, and then... Like, they found their brother who had fixed up, uh, the, the car, and then they went for a ride, they found the ghost, and it was like, oh, now everybody knows, and that girl that he was going for is obviously older than him, so I don't understand how that was a thing, um, but it was a thing, uh, I don't know, like, I just got the impression that she was much older than him, and he's 15, and I just, like, it was just kind of like, Mm, uh, okay maybe you're like a year or two younger i mean you're not it's not illegal but it's like it's just a little strange and then like i didn't know if she was into him it was just kind of like there and then she kind of just like jumped on the bandwagon she was like okay i'm doing this and i was just like okay um and then there was moments when like people were he hearing them and nobody thought it odd but then there was already a ghost running around town so i don't know and why did they let the demon ghost out in the first place like shouldn't they have kept it in the box and then like none of this would have happened like egon trapped it so why was he like here look at the box and then they're like "Ooh, let's try to open it it's like was that his original plan like it just kind of made it seem like he wanted all this to happen so they could fix it again and get everybody back together like he somehow knew i don't know but like if the thing was already in there then you 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 don't got a problem you know like if you release that thing that's when you got a problem and you release the thing um just because you were being nosy was that your intention i don't know so a lot of those things kind of happened where it was just kind of like well that happened was 
that like part of the plan um um so those kind of things didn't really make so much sense to me but it all kind of worked out together um i love the little peaks of like the ghostbuster things like where the car kind of like like they showed it um the symbol for a second and then it went away like those little things were, were nice um i loved how uh egon showed his daughter like that he had been like watching after her and that moment when he was hugging her and they were all there together that was really nice too um the movie also kind of just ended it was just kind of like okay what's next that's it and it was just kind of like we look at the sky and it's over it kind of felt like how um the host finished but the host felt complete um but it was just kind of like we look up into the sky and it's over and i'm like wait it's over like there's no okay all right so that is kind of how i felt overall i liked the movie but i just feel like i'm talking about things that didn't make sense for me which i feel like it's important to talk about um but i think what made the movie good for me was the actors and how they played their parts and the nostalgia of it that was done very well where it kind of made everything blend together nicely so that we weren't able to see the blurred lines um and then mistakes and the things that didn't really make sense and obviously it wasn't like intentional things that didn't make sense it just kind of you know it, it, it um happened in the movie um things that were not fully fleshed out or whatever the case may be um in the writer's part and the director's part um but i feel like they did a good job in doing that so i'm not able to really like say too much of what i liked about it other than that i'm really able to just focus on the things that didn't make sense because it's like when you're watching it you're paying attention to that and you recognize that but it then you're also enjoying the movie but then when you're analyzing it you know what you enjoyed about the movie you just can't put it into words because like it was what it was like I, I don't know how else to explain it um so yeah um but I do highly recommend this movie it was a really nicely done movie um and it was cute and some scenes were appropriate uh for family but I feel like Ghostbusters does that where it's like certain things I'm like eh, maybe not so appropriate but okay it's for kids um like they kind of mask that so like it was done in a way where it was just like okay you you got off with this one you know so that's kind of how this movie felt as well um and yeah like i highly just suggest you watch it just for the nostalgia of it and because it's a really fun family movie um and those are my thoughts on that um sorry for the long review i tried to hit like that 15 minute mark and then it just never happens but then for my asmr videos when i want to do a longer video i can't do it longer so i don't know um yeah and then it, if it's like about a movie i really liked and i have a lot to say about it like the it just tends to go for a long time so those who stay and who watch all this thank you i appreciate it um i guess it just kind of is what it is and i'll try my best um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you guys all really enjoyed it and i hope to see you all in the next one bye